Let's say Kyle example was example one. So I'll go and do the next example, call it example two. And here I'm going to use the term reparameterize. The reason I initially included this in my uh, lecture notes is because I thought that I put the homework example like this. Uh, but turn out that I took it out. But, and I mentioned that already, so let me move on. Let's reparameterize the helix uh, that uh, would, I would have shown you if I gave you the first example. Um, and it's cosine ti plus sine tj plus tk with uh, with respect to and you see me writing from this point on instead of with respect to I'll write WRT so what do we want to reparameterize the helix with respect to the arc length uh, measured from and we need to give an initial point and we measure it from uh, 100 zero, zero in the direction of an increasing T. Which is somewhat redundant because we, when we define the outline function, we, we define it as uh, the integral in the direction of increasing T. So uh, let's see if we can make a sense out of this weird looking uh, example because it's a little bit weird. Okay, first of all, we're going to say that uh, the initial point zero, 1, zero, 0, correspond to what value of t? Somebody said that, but go ahead. Correspond to what, what equals to 0? There you go. Say it in complete Say a complete statement. So we're looking at uh, t equals zero, and now uh, what? Remember how we took the derivative uh, right here? Let's do the same thing. ds dt will be the magnitude of the derivative vector function r prime, and for the particular curve, it would be the square root. Well, we take the derivative of the cosine. So it would be um, a negative sine t squared plus the derivative of the sine is cosine. So we have cosine squared and the derivative of t is 1, so it's plus 1. And, uh, so what is this equals to without thinking too long? It's not too bad square root of 2. I know. Uh, uh, Ryan said square root of 2 initially. So what is S? Well, S now becomes S of t. And what we need to do, we integrate. And we integrate, remember, from 0 to t. So we go and we apply the definition of the uh, Arklin function here. So <coughs> what uh, if you look here, it will be the integral of the uh, the magnitude of the derivative vector r prime of u du, and of course in this case we know it's simply a number square root of two, so it's the integral from zero to t of square root of u the uh, square root of two du, or simply square root of two uh, t, like so. Okay. So where is this business of reparameterization? Reparame it's expressing t in terms of s. That's, that's what reparame reparameterization means. Okay? So t 
if s equals square root of uh, 2 times t, well, t equals s divided by square root of 2. But we are not done. Okay? Because now we need to express everything in terms of s. So here's the reparametrization. We take our uh, curve defined by the vector r of t, but instead of r of t, we're going to use the composition. We're going to say it's r of s of t, like so, or simply r of s. And we say this is equal to cosine, because t now is replaced by s of the square root of 2. Then it will be cosine of s of the square root of 2. No, the original r. It's not r prime, it's r. Plus sine of s divided by square root of, of 2 t. I need to close the per. This is in the i direction, so let me correct myself. So t times i plus sine of uh, s divided by square root of 2 t j. And instead of tk, we have s divided by square root of 2k. Okay, what was the question? Uh, yes, there is no t in there. Notice that <laughs> initially I did not include it, but yeah, it's thank you so much, Kyle. You are sharp this morning. <laughs> Why? You jump in too? Yeah. I heard several voices, that is true. So, good, good point. So, it's simply this I plus sine of s over square root of 2. It means that I need to look, look at my notes more often. There you go. All right. The next topic <coughs> is curvature, but let me pause here or stop the recording. Here.